Wonder what made the Nostalgia Critic and Syriac interested in these PSAs? Oh, I'm sorry. They're PIFs. It's all British. And here's our first one. Let me introduce you to Mr. A. Golly now, gosh, Mr. A is a perfectly straightforward kind of person. He reacts quite normally when there's dried egg for breakfast, when it's opening time, when his mother-in-law comes to stay. Brexit, monochrome, 2018. When he sees his bank balance, when someone slips on a banana skin, when he has bacon for breakfast. And a My Little Pony fandom, that means morning sex with sunset shimmer. Of crossing the road. <laughs> Hurt, old man? Wait until he sees the bills. He'll keel now, over. Let's try and get this straight. You want to cross from here to there. Good. And it would be perfectly simple if it wasn't for the cars. Looks like Britain's hosting this year's Wacky Races. Now, there are two ways of crossing. And this way. You see these two rows of studs. Of course he does. Well, He's got eyes. He do just doesn't use them well. Studs and you won't get knocked down. You see, the motorist has a legal obligation to give the pedestrian a right of way at crossings. Usually, but they're too self-entitled to stop, so Can it's pointless. Yourself? Come on. It'll be all right. Really? Now. Uh -huh. Look out! Looks like our narrator is psychotic. There are some good common sense rules, you know. You must look where you're going. And it's no good thinking you can have a sleep. Or eat your breakfast out there because you'll soon find yourself in trouble. Syria so looked at that and went, What if I added Ellis right to it? Have another try. That's it. Good. Get out of the road, you Fine. fucking tard! Keep it up. Lovely. Splendid. And now he's qualified to be UK's next Prime Minister. My husband is very selfish. He won't even use his handkerchief. He just coughs and sneezes over everybody. What am I to do? Get him to sit near an anti-vax mom's kid. Make her rethink way. her actions. Be kind to him. If that doesn't work, throw a bucket of cold water over him. And make him sicker? No thanks! I showed him a handkerchief the other day. First he dusted the piano with it. Then he polished his shoes. Then he tied up the pears in the garden. Got what? more use out of that instead of looking Take pretty on Bill Maher's box. suit. Sprinkle him freely with it. <laughs> then hold the handkerchief close to his face. He'll learn. The next one amps this tidbit to 11. When my husband has a cold, he will put his germy handkerchief in with the family wash, instead of letting me boil them first. Wait, you what boil them after use? Do? Use to me. It's obviously dangerous. Get him locked up. Bye-bye, sicko! That whole class got a week's worth of detention. They're a nuisance, I agree, but pretty harmless. You have certainly seen thousands like this. They're not a nuisance. They're a real danger. Watch. Anita Sarkeesian will try to make sneezing sexist, homophobic, or racist on Twitter. Yeah, what do you think you're up to? You've probably infected thousands of people already. What do you think this is for? Shoe polishing, apparently. Yes, that's all right, but here's another way of using your handkerchief. Now sneeze. Subject him to Twitter's new look. That'll make him sick. Um, all right, never mind. Close your eyes. This next bit should be banned by the Geneva Convention. Now, handkerchief. Sneeze. <laughs> sneeze, handkerchief. <laughs> Got it? Fine. <laughs> Understand? Handkerchief, sneeze. See Jesus, I mean? you're gonna put him in a hospital, and a high bill will make him yearn for death. This ought to be a remix. Now you can carry on. Hey! You got a license for that? Your 
You're Mr. Evans, I think. So, may I introduce you to Mary Jeffries? Oh, fuck, we're interrupting Mary. a porn. Mary. Oh, Mary, sorry to interrupt you, but I want you to meet Mr. Evans. How did I get here? This Where's my George car? George. Oh, George, this is Mr. Evans. As long as you're not queer or Muslim, you're fine with me. Now, here's young Johnny Eccles. Johnny, come and say how to do to Mr. Evans. This is the weirdest oh, Brady Bunch episode ever. Finally, Bert Gordon. Bert, this is Mr. Evans. How do you do? What is all this about? Sorry, I, I should explain. I stopped you just now because you were driving too fast. I Did you post up three meth labs and a Muslim terrorist for me? No wonder this place is going to shit. Oh, no, it isn't. Now look here. You and Bert are approaching a crossroads at 28 miles an hour. I think it's more because nobody was looking at all here. Because you weren't driving safely. Now let's go down here at 15 miles an hour. Remember Mary? Well, she can think of nothing else but her young man at the moment. And his eight-inch penis. It has been very nasty. Better go even slower here. Yes, there's that young Johnny again. Suicidal as always. We can't afford now, George, to commit him, so it's cheaper to let him die. From the local and often forget Same goes for that wino over there. He certainly doesn't think about the traffic. Some people are careless, but it's the motorist's responsibility to... Turn them the over and teach him a lesson. People. The maximum speed limit is 30 miles an hour, but it's an offense to drive faster than is safe. Once you're out of the city, you could be as fast as you want. Nobody gives two shits about animals. And Mary and George and Johnny being injured or killed. I had a friend once who liked a lot of water in his bath. An extravagant fellow. He goes by he Dumbo. He used to be in a circus until people. Peter costed him his job. Another friend of mine had very different ideas. She didn't use any water at all. Most economical, and she always kept herself clean. Just a later roll and kitty litter. In the old days, I liked the elephant's way better. Plenty of hot water. And if you wanted more, well, you've just had it. That's all over now. No more elephant bars. Fuel is scarce. It's got to be saved. You can thank global now warming for drying it up. Warm water for me. By the way, okay, who wears a ruler as a bar. sock? You may have a different way. He's not singing God Save the Queen! Deport him! Could have also took a shower. There's less water in that too. Titanic will never sink. Titanic will never sink. If that was in jail, he'd be sore in 30 minutes. And I think that's his O face. If it's over five inches, the Germans win. And here's our last one. On my way to stay in the dawn, Dorothy! <laughs> very clever. Very, very clever. E.T., go home. And you look so pleased with yourself, too. I can run my bike with no handlebars. No handlebars. No handlebars. What? Oh, beep beep studio. You're just like another friend. E.T. Womp Russell. He did just the same sort of things as you. Well, one morning he came down for his bike, just as he'd always done. He didn't die from the bike. He drank himself to death. And he didn't meet me at the corner of the high street. Even as an angel, he sauced. No, Look at him no. swerving. This time, he was going on a long, long journey. And he was going alone. He was heading for the wide open spaces. As an extra at Oz, the great and powerful. Perhaps you want to do the same. Perhaps you like the idea of peddling around in the sky. Perhaps you're tired of your friends, George. You should kill them all, Perhaps George, you're tired of and life. then yourself. Well, of course, if you feel that way. But I don't, Frank, really. Good. But you'll have to stop all this fooling about in the road, George. Especially without you'll going on a red your nonsense. ideas quite a bit. You'll have to keep to the left, no wobbling. Obey the traffic lights. Give the proper signals. Be careful, as many drivers forgot them just after taking the written test. You, I'd read it pretty carefully. Otherwise, it'll mean the wide open spaces. Now stop that talk, Fred. That's right, communist George. talk, and I won't if tolerate it. Tonight, same place, same time, 
And, oh, George. <laughs> Same clothes. We can't have Goodbye, you cross-dressing again Goodbye, after George. that incident at the and airport bathrooms, now can we? Highway code. Well, that last one was a little bit more fun. Tune in for more. <laughs>